We all know that Godot physics is a debated topic along the internet. Godot being hardly criticized because of its physics behavior, leading to unexpected or not desired results when it comes to physics. Even Juan Linetsky, one of Godot founders, talked about this topic, more on that later. So today I will be showing you both sides of the discussions about the physics and a possible solution to this topic. So now, let's start. So firstly, in this example we can see how a guy was trying to create a bowling game in Godot and although he spent years tweaking them, the result was quite far from good. Bueno, y acá viene la parte horrible, la física de Godot, como podés ver, gira en algo innatural completamente, mal simulado. Después de perder como una hora experimentando diferentes materiales físicos, me di cuenta que los pinos se van a seguir moviendo como un borracho a las 3 de la mañana, básicamente, y le busqué la vuelta como para conseguir un resultado lo más aproximado. La verdad, fuera de joda, perdí mucho tiempo del que había ganado haciendo el proyecto, lo perdés en estas cosas y no queda convincente. And you may think, who is this guy? Well, he's a developer with a lot of years of experience in a lot of engines, so he's in the random guy that isn't smart, just the opposite. I don't want to make a generalization, but that video, that video really changed my point of view about Gujot. And even more when he tried doing the same bowling game but in Unity and in a matter of seconds of tweaking physics, the result was far better from the one that he got in Good Judge. Y quiero que veas, mirá la física por defecto, que lindo, loco. Que lindo. Por esto uso Unity. Te voy a mostrar para que compares ahora con Godot en... Después de haber manoseado bastante Godot para conseguir algo aceptable. Mirá lo que es. Es una locura. Ya, ya estoy escuchando los lloros en el chat diciendo... Pero y que si vos haces todo desde cero y lo programás manualmente en Godot, podés conseguir el mismo resultado. El motor tiene que facilitarte en su lógica y física natural poder tener resultados óptimos. Then, also, in my personal experience with Goodjot Physics, I couldn't get amazing results or just the same quality of physics that I can get in Unity with much less effort, for example. Of course, physics, how to tweak, tweak them and if the result is good or not will depend on so much stuff that it's nearly impossible to give a yes or a no for every case about Goodjot Physics. So in this topic, there isn't really uh, like a good side or a correct side to be. These are just opinions. So judge by yourself. <laughs> I will be reading you in the comments down below. So this issue is still out there on the community. Good joke has always been hated for its physics and you may be against or not. But the thing is that the topic is always present in the community. It's so so present in the community that a plugin was released in order to overcome this situation. This plugin is called Jolt Physics that is a multi-core friendly rigid body physics and collision detection library suitable for games and VR applications used by Horizon Forbidden West. When it comes to performance, Jolt is able to improve frame rate in a 40%. Yes, that's a lot. It is also a good alternative to the good job physics engine if you don't like it a lot or you would just like to try a new physics engine for good job. Do remember in the beginning of the video when I told you that the creator of good job talked about Jolt? Well, indeed, Juan Linetsky, one of good job creators, tweeted about Jolt saying that they may be able to use Jolt as default physics engine for good job, not too far away from us. Of course, if one of good job creators is saying this, it means that Jolt is just amazing. If not, why one of good job creators would say that they are considering to use Jolt as the default physics engine? It would make no sense at all. And now, how can you install and import Yolt into your Godot project? So firstly, you're gonna go to the link in the description below. It's gonna be the first line there. And well, you'll find here the official repository of Yolt, as you can see. So you're gonna scroll down and until here the releases, you're gonna click there. 
and then here um you're gonna see that you have a lot of things here for example you have here a pre-release version and you also have the latest stable version as you can see also you have to really consider uh the version that is supported um by the release because here for example it says this release supports Godot 4.1 so well maybe if you are using Godot uh, 4.2, Godot 4.0, Godot 3 or any other version of the engine it may it might not work so it's very important to pay attention to this line over here so I as I was telling you you have the pre-release a version that is not a stable version and you may encounter a lot of errors and bugs that's why i really encourage you to download the stable version and the latest stable version so here we have all the change log the things that were removed added and a lot of other stuff that you can check but the actual important thing here is right here so here in the assets you have the source code and you also have the compressed file that this one is the really important one so we are, we are gonna click over here and the download is gonna start as you can see it's only like uh, 15 megabytes so it's really really uh, not a lot of megabytes okay so here i am in good job. so here we can see that indeed i'm using the correct version good job for one and i'm gonna create here and just a new project and um, create it okay once you have your project you're gonna go to the asset library click here import and you're gonna go to the uh, path where you have downloaded uh, your compressed file in my case and I believe yours will be also will be on the downloads okay so here you're gonna look for good old yolt right here you're gonna click it and then open and you're gonna check that every single folder and file is checked right here in this box so once you've checked that you're gonna click here install and well here it says some extensions need the editor to restart to take effect so save and restart we are just gonna wait a couple of seconds and okay now we have jolt installed but well that's not all we're gonna go to a uh, project project settings then we're gonna check here advanced settings then we're gonna look for physics 3d and here as you can see we have an option that is called physics engine by default it's set on default but if we click this we can see that a new uh, option appear your physics 3d so we're gonna click this option then click here we will have to wait a couple of seconds and here we are back so uh, just to check that everything is fine you should check it as you can see here your physics 3d and we'll also in the settings you will also find um this option here your 3d in which you have a ton of options that you can modify and if you just want to come back to the default physics engine you just change it to default now that you know how to install it import it and everything i'd like to share with you some examples on how yolt is super amazing with these jord examples
So it's obvious that physics are always a hot topic and even more in good doubt. But anyway, it's amazing exploring some alternatives such as YOLT and I really encourage you to check it out. Leave me your opinion about this topic in the comments down below, subscribe to the channel for more good videos and see you on the next one, bye bye!